Hi, it's Ed Butowski, and what I wanted to do today was take you through some of the key takeaways from the first quarter earnings season, knowing that we're still in the middle of getting this information, but these are some of the key takeaways. So the first slide compares sector sales and earnings per share growth. It shows inflation is boosting sales across all but one sector. If inflation remains high, 2002 second half sales growth could be strong. It also shows sectors face varying margin pressure. Above the yellow line, example, energy, materials, and industrials have operating leverage, while below the line, consumer discretion face margin pressures. Most of the sectors face margin pressures, but are able to pass this along through increased costs. What's the bull case? Inflation drives strong sales growth and pricing power boosts earnings per share growth. It could be enough to fuel a second half 2022 rally. This chart compares the first quarter earnings per share beat rate and earnings per share surprises. Energy and material beat rates are over 75% with a plus 10% aggregate positive earnings per share surprises, each of them. Industrial's earnings per share beat rate is about 90%, but aerospace and defense is offsetting positive earnings per share surprises. Consumer discretion beat is 65% as companies beat a low bar. And that's because of inflation, wages, and supply chain issues. But Amazon's earnings per share miss pushed the aggregate surprise down 36.5%. Notably, growth is seeing much more margin pressure with a lower aggregate surprise, a concern giving gross reliance on future growth. This slide compares fourth quarter 2021 and first quarter 2022 price impact across different sectors. 52.9% of the S&P 500 companies traded higher around their first quarter 2022 earnings, which is identical to the fourth quarter 2021 52%. However, there are some significant changes at the sector level. The three standouts, Energy, whose percent of positive price impact is down 56% despite a strong earnings per share beat and a big surprise, and Tech and Industrials, where the percent of positive price impacts are up 28% and 18% respectfully. Corporate profit margins are feeling the impact of soaring inflation due to supply chain gridlock and rising commodity prices. This figure shows margin is being mentioned more frequently around the words pressure, compression, and contraction on earning call transcripts, which is a very interesting way of looking at things and looking at and listening to the earnings calls and what they say so often. After falling during the pandemic, talk of margin pressure is back to near a decade high as first quarter 2022 earnings season kicks off. Margin pressures are the driving force behind another hot topic, pricing strategy. <clears throat> this tracks off of the strategy calls the number of times pricing is mentioned within the first five words of strategy. The chart shows pricing strategy talk is well above the recent decade average. It's an indication analysts and investors are searching for companies with pricing strategies and a game plan to handle volatile inflationary inputs and slowing economic growth. In other words, can you maintain margins in a tough macro environment? Inventory restocking and, in, in, and increases are another common topic on call transcripts. In this slide, it tracks the number of times inventory is mentioned with five words of increase. The chart shows discussions about rising inventories as well as above average compared to the last decade. There are two likely angles here. First, the combination of robust consumer demand and supply chain issues caused companies to lose sales during the pandemic. It was a painful experience and companies do not want to be caught without enough inventory on hand to meet future demands. Second, the increase indicates that there are probing executives to understand they are probing executives to understand the inventory turnover is slowing and causing inventory to build up. If so, demand may be starting to weaken. In this graph, the change in second quarter 2022 year-over-year -year earnings per share growth estimates since first quarter 2022 earnings per share uh, earnings season started.
The headline S&P 500 2022 earnings per share estimate is only up 0.4%, but the data shows revisions are diverging. The big takeaway is analysts are increasing earnings per share growth estimates for commodity-related sectors. Energy up 45% is the biggest positive on earnings per share revisions, followed by materials, which are up 6%, and industrials up 4%. Utilities are the largest negative revision, down 13%. And uh, earnings per share revision, while consumer discretion, consumer staples, healthcare, and tech estimates are down 1% to down 3%. <clears throat> Two notable trends, financials have the biggest projected year-over-year -year earnings per share decline at 20%, and consumer discretion has the third biggest projected year-over-year -year uh, growth at 12%, an indication analysts are forecasting strong consumer spending. Now, this one is a little difficult to follow, but give it a shot. Um, the S&P 500 oil and gas refining marketing sub-industry against the WTI 321 crack spread. The two historically moved together with a correlation of 0.5 and a R-square of 0.25 over the past five years. While the relationship could be stronger, there is a clear link between crack spreads and refining stocks. A soaring crack spread points to significant upside for both refining stocks and profits. Estimated second quarter 2022 year-over-year -year earnings per share growth for the refining sub-industry increased to 337% as of April 28th, up from 232 on 331. So what this basically means is that companies are being able to produce oil at a certain price and able to sell it at a much higher price. So the profit margins are going to be very significant. And the final slide is the backdrop of the Fed tightening and higher interest rates are offsetting positive earnings per share growth and upward earnings per share revisions. This shows the S&P is down more than 5% over the last month as price earnings multiples contract. Markets are not in the clear yet, but a big portion of the tightening is priced in already. If inflation boost sales and pricing power, boost earnings per share, the S&P could reverse its negative trend and trade higher. Now, what do I think? I actually you know, look at these and understand them, and it goes against my, my belief that we're in for a really rocky road, but there are some positive things that are happening in the economy where things could reverse, and you could see a strong 2022 second half. But right now, I'm not a believer in this, um, but I wanted to share these slides with you, and hopefully you learned something from it. Thank you.